Carl from Red Badger TV, joined by DT and Borley following the Melton, Melton Town game. I'll start with you, Borley. Um, felt a tough one to take that, did? Um, yeah, it is and it isn't. Um, we just said to the lads in there, that's... <laughs> if you could sum up the emotions you could go through at football, you've gone through every single one there, I think. It can make you the happiest and it can make you the fucking... Sorry, it can make you the most frustrated and it can can kick you when you're down but I think the top and bottom of that today, it was a hell of a game it must have been an unbelievable game to watch if you're not in the middle of it um, it was end to end and in truth I think it was the better side I think we've created the better chances um, and on another day we go on and we keep score three or four goals but then on from the flip side to that on another day we should have had a clean sheet so again we've conceded soft goals um, and we're in a bit of that lull at the minute, I think. So again, like I just said in there, you, you can get away with it at one end of the pitch or the other. At the minute, it's just not falling right for us to, to score, but then it's it's falling right for them to go and score easy goals as well. So I think if you can have it at one end, not the other, you normally you normally can get through it. But the flip side to that, the lads have given us absolutely everything today. We can't ask for any more from in terms of effort. Um, the quality was there as well in parts. We've, we've passed the ball well. We've obviously played a new system today which we've had one session to work on and it and you could first 10 we was a little bit wobbly in it I think but then after that we, we settled and we passed the ball really well and we moved the ball really well um, and the system really started to work and we've caused them a lot more issues than they've caused us today I can't remember Willow making a save um, which probably sums up sums up the way of the game but yeah I think DT summed it up in there it's just the, the, the overriding feeling is frustration again I think but we can't dig anyone out today there's no one it's just that, that we're done now. I don't think unless someone unbelievable becomes available, we we we're as strong as we can get um, with where we are. So and I, I genuinely don't think there's anyone out there that will come and make us stronger as it stands. So we've got more than enough belief with the group that we've got. Um, they're one of the best three sides in the league, I think, and we've proved that with results. So and I think we've gone toe to toe with these today that finished top six in this league for the last few years and 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 ultimately was the better side. So yeah, it's a it's a frustrating one to take. Go on, GDT, give us your thoughts. Um, not to sound like a parrot, but it's just frustrating. I think we're our own worst enemy at the moment. Um, again, not to sound repetitive, we've given two goals away today. Um, and we're not we're not taking our chances when it, when it matters. Um, it's, you know... Both boxers are, are costing us at the moment. But listen, I've just said to the lads, you know, uh, we've got no desire to come screaming and shouting at the end of the game because they've given us 100%. And that's all we ask. If you give us 110%, we'll win more games than we lose this season. And unfortunately for us, you know, Greg Mills scored a world from 40 yards. He's played step three in you know, uh, the most most of his career as a, as a quality footballer, but we're, we're gifting goals away. And, you know, I look at our goal and we have to, we have to graft Thomas scores a great goal, but that's us in a nutshell at the moment. We we have to sort score a spectacular goal to, to get it get ourselves in the game, and we, we give soft goals away. But again, Mark Mark Mark, Mark sorry, what has just said? You know, I'm we 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 are in a rut. You know, <laughs> last season we you know. We're, we're not not used to losing games, but we've been on the flip side of it, where you, you come to on a Saturday and you're hoping to get a result. That's not the case now. You know, as we said before the game, we want to win every game and we're capable of winning every game. But we just need to be better, and that's the that's the short and narrow of it. We need to be better in the box, finishing, and we need to be better defending. Even though I would say the back three was superb today, as daft as it sounds, but two mistakes has cost us, and that seems to be where we're at at the moment. But that's football. You know, we, it's not going to last forever. Someone's going to take a hide in soon. Hopefully next week. Hopefully it's Loughborough. But if it's not, we'll we'll keep working because that's our job. We've got to get the lads prepared for next Saturday. And as I've said to you all, all year, Carl, that's a good honest punch in there. And there's no eggs. There's no egos. You know, lads be disappointed, yes, but we'll all get together and we'll all work hard. And that's all we can do. And, and you know, as well as. As well as bad as things are going at the moment, we're more than capable of going two, three months winning games and going unbeaten because that's the quality that we have got. But it's just things aren't dropping for us at the moment. So it's frustrating. 
nobody's died. It's a game of football. You know, we've probably dropped out of the playoffs, but you know, we're in December. We've got four months of football still to play. So that'll be the message. That's been the message to the guys. You know, we'll, as a management team, get our heads together um, in the week, prepare for next Saturday, and that's that's all we can do. There's some positives though, like you said, to take away from the game. A new formation, which looked to work quite well. Willow at the bats looks to have settled in very quickly and played well. So, you know, there is some positives, isn't there, to look forward? Yeah, as I said, as Borley said, I think the first 15 minutes we it looked a little bit panicked and, you know, a bit, yeah, a bit disjointed. But as soon as we, you know, what we worked on in the, in the week and getting the ball down and passing, as soon as we passed the ball, you know, I, I, we, we did some really good stuff. Ryan, Ryan Tate come on for 10 minutes and didn't give the ball away. It was superb. So there is plenty of po Willow. I, Willow was superb, you know, for a debut first game at step step five. He was assured. He talked well. You know, he's, he's really mature for it, for his age at 18, 19. So that that's a that's a positive. It, it's. I, said, I just said to the lads, I could literally go through every single one of you and tell you about you, you but ultimately it means nothing <laughs> because we've lost the game. And you know, I would at the moment I'd rather take a scrappy crap performance and a win just to get us over the hump because you know when we're winning and when we're losing we're, we're two different sides and that's something that we need to figure out when we're up against it and our backs against the walls or we're losing how do we get the side of Eastwood that when we're two three nil up everybody wants to get on the ball everyone's loud everyone's vocal there's plenty of movement but again listen we're, we've been in a job for 12 months we're not, we, we haven't, we, we're by no means necessary. We're still learning and we're learning on the job. And that's something the lads are going to have to be patient with us. You know, we're still learning our trade. We, we don't we don't walk around saying we, we've made it and we know exactly what we've done. We're, 12, we're literally 12 months into the job. So, yeah, it's, it's yeah, the, the biggest thing I can say is that we enjoy coming to football. And that's, daft as it sounds, we've lost the game. But we, we talk about football seven days a week and these guys make it enjoyable for us and as we said when we first took the job we want to play exciting football and as as Borley said if a neutral paid eight pounds come and watch that today they've got the money, money's worth two good sides going at it we've just unfortunately the wrong end of the result today so yeah frustrating but we're just a sold down and we have, to, we have to go again we have to go again we've got 20 odd games still to play that's the thing if, I think if there's a lot of football left to play yeah no if, if you'd have said to us at the end of last season or even the start of this season if you Get offered us the position that we're in. I think we probably would have took it. I think maybe a few points better off, but I think we would have took it. So yeah, there's loads of positives to have there. We'll let it die down. We'll have a put another couple of pints now. We'll talk about it, and then tomorrow's a fresh day. Like like DT said, no one's died. It's a game of football, and it's full of positive. Young Willow today was was tremendous. We couldn't couldn't have asked for a better a better um, debut against Mills, who's played his whole career at step three, step two. So I think the takeaway messages are. A lot of football left to be played, a lot of progression since last season, and like I said, nobody's died, so onwards and upwards, right? Has to be. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go again. We'll yeah. go again. That's that's all we can do, and hopefully everybody sticks with us. Because I said in the start of the season, Carl, there's going to be periods throughout this season where we lose games, and we're going to lose games between now and the end of the season. That's a fact. But you know, our backers, and Koki and Sachs and Swifty and Marsh here. And the lads to turn it around, and when we do go, somebody's somebody's taking the hiding in the next yeah. few weeks, and I, I, I'll I'll promise that. All that's left for me to say is Merry Christmas to both of you. Wasn't the result we wanted? I'm not doing an interview if you wear that Liverpool hat again. I'm out. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. <laughs> <laughs>